Hello, this is Warlord. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a prop like this Fortnite plane from Sketchfab into a easily animatable prop. It may come with a complex skeleton or no skeleton at all, but with the mesh extract feature, there's a lot of things you can do to simplify the use of a prop like this. So, let's get started. Now the internet is full of free props, but you never know how they're going to be rigged. Like I said earlier, it may have a complicated skeleton or no skeleton at all. And one thing we can do is simplify those props. But when I get a prop to work with, I generally come in first and go in and check and see if I can edit the pose. And as you can see, this has a, a structure to it, but man, it's pretty convoluted. Now you can come down here and... You can drill down to some, well, to just about anything by doing it like this. But you have to do some playing around before you get it to the point of where you can animate it. And you can do the same thing with the wheels and things. But that just kind of gets to be a hassle. So what I like to do is go in and use the Extract Mesh feature and see what we can do with it to uh, extract things like these wheels up here, the tail dragger wheel, and the prop so that we can move them. And that's not going to be that difficult to do. With the prop selected, let's go ahead and go into Edit Mesh. And we're going to want to use the element so we can make it very easy to select single parts of this. And we're just going to want to select the three prop blades. Because I want to show you Another reason I picked this model is if you do it like I'm going to do it here, you're going to find that the pivot is off on the props, and there's an easy way to fix that. But let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Let's extract the mesh and just hit OK on that. And once it's extracted, you come over into your scene manager and click on that extraction. Close Edit Mesh convert it to a sub item now if you were to come in here and try to twirl it you see how it goes off center so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload this scene and then we'll come in here and the first thing we'll do when we run into something like that is with the prop selected we'll go back into edit mesh Go back into element and let's pick this nose cone and let's extract it. Then I'm going to go over and select that in the scene manager just like I did earlier. Close edit mesh, convert to sub item, and then let's test it. And you can see here how it spins just fine. Now, of course, we want to line it back up to match the there. And so now that we've got that fixed, now we can go back and extract the prop, the prop blade. In an earlier test, I did try to extract the prop blades and the prop at the same time, and it still went off center, just like the blades by themselves. So that's why I'm showing you how to do it this way. So with the plane selected, we'll go back into Edit Mesh, Element, and this time we're going to select, and I'm holding down the Control key as I do this. Go ahead and select the blades and make sure you don't select any other part. Extract the mesh. Close edit mesh. Go over to scene and get that extraction. And then convert to sub item. First thing we're going to want to do is come in and detach the nose cone and the blade because this is very important this is what's called hierarchy so with the blade selected what we want to do is pick its parent and make it the nose cone you cannot do it while the nose cone is already attached that's why we had to detach it so now when i select the nose cone it's one one prop and we're going to want to parent it to the plane 
Now this should allow us to go ahead and just spin the prop. Now we'll have to do the wheels in at least two separate uh, extractions. We want the tail wheel to be by itself. And I know from an earlier test that the pivot is actually centered between these two wheels and tires. So that when we extract them as one, we'll be able to animate them as one. And I'll show you right now what I'm talking about. So we're going to select the prop, go back into Edit Mesh, go back into Element, and we're going to select the tire and the wheel. Hold down Control, Tire, and Wheel. Now we're going to extract that mesh. And once it's done, we're going to close that, come over and select that extracted mesh, convert it to a sub-item. Now you don't have to do anything else with this. It, as you see, because of the pivot, like I said, already allows us to animate that. So what we need to do next is select the plane again, go into Edit Mesh, Element, and we'll select the tail wheel. And it appears to just be one piece. Extract the mesh. Close Edit Mesh. Go over and select your extracted mesh. And then convert to sub-item. And test it. And now you can animate that very simply. Without having to go in to that complex skeletal structure. This should show you how simple this is. Now earlier when I was saying, you know, go select it in the scene, I was doing that uh, off screen by going to my other monitor. I wasn't going to drag this over every time. So when I say, you know, select that item after you've extracted it, just go into your scene manager wherever you have it docked or wherever you may have it on your monitor set up. And really, that's all there is to this. So I hope it helped.